Hi, I'm Holly Roper, and I chose to read Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad. Um, the Heart of Darkness is considered to be a great piece of literature because of the themes and the issues presented in the book, dealing with imperialism, greed, evil, um, racism, corruption, and the savagery within a person. Um, since Conrad can relate these to real-world problems and real-world situations from our past, we can. Um, that's why it's such a great piece of literature because we can look back on our past and. Um, and see how we've how we have grown or changed to 1898 to 1899 when this book was written to up until our future now because some of these issues are still going on and um, by looking at this we can see what what some of the really main specific problems were at that time and we can see how we've changed from that up until now and how we can help better ourselves although since we we knew about this book a hundred hundred years ago um, we didn't really change too too much after that because racism is another big part of our society today so hopefully people could change after reading this book um, and help learn from our past mistakes um, it can also be considered a great piece of literature because the book questions the thinking between right and wrong dealing with racism like the the Africans in this book were considered as um, slaves and savages and not directly but they were considered slaves um, and it shows that the racism throughout the whole book but since it wasn't really stated as racism as like a giant part of the book a big problem it shows that during in our history at at this time the early 1900s that racism was it was a big deal but that's not what everybody really thought about that they thought it was okay to be racist and and all that stuff which it's not and um and it shows how wrong people thought back then it shows how people thought um darkness is a major theme that can be found throughout the whole book in the beginning when marlo um is on the famous river and also in the end he implies that it's bright but there's still a darkness going on and that he is going into an immense darkness and that's just on the Thames River. When he gets to Africa, when he's telling his story, and that's his journey, he talks all the time about um, going deeper and deeper into um, the heart of darkness. And, um, and, and when he means darkness, he, he refers to the evil actions of humans, the greed and corruption of societies, businesses, and people. He experiences a lot of this throughout the whole trip. Um, when he meets Kurt, um, the, the pilgrims, the, the managers, just dealing with a lot of people even the natives and how savage like they act towards other people and um and when he even sees the slaves at the outer the outer post outer station um and that's just in africa and that's where the heart of darkness is in the book that's where a lot of the evil is supposed to take place but while while i had mentioned he was talking about that on the thames river it also shows that there can be darkness anywhere it can be um, in Africa, it can be in Europe, it can be wherever he goes, because there's, there can be corruption and, and evil anywhere. Um, uh, while the word darkness isn't always presented as darkness, it can be presented with fog and, and the river and the rebel heads. Like, the fog is, it, um, is a handicap for seeing, and it helps add to the darkness of the jungle right before he actually went to the heart of darkness which was where Kurtz was the climax point is um, and the rebel heads when he sees those on the little fence post things that shows Kurtz is evil inside of him and how throughout living there um, trading ivory and everything how he had changed from wanting to civilize and assimilate the the natives to becoming basically a savage himself and um, and it also shows some racism in that too because Marlo when he hears about it from the Russian guy he's like oh well I saw slaves earlier so maybe the rebels that Kurtz had called them maybe they were actually just you know people that were enslaved that you know really were treated unfairly maybe the rebels were just treated unfairly too maybe because they were African or they were not like Kurtz and his little tribe or or anybody not like the agents or anything like that so he believed that that was some racism and that is some racism that's sort of pointed out in the book um another form of darkness 
like I said, was the river, and um, that portrays the darkness because it's it's like the passage to it. It helps take him to the heart of it. There's darkness throughout his whole trip while he's on the river and while he's not on the river, while he's on the river banks and everything like that. Um, so those are some examples of darkness. So that is my video blog. Woo!